Today we're going to be talking about weathering and erosion in our surface. Now, weathering, just to give you a definition, is the breakdown of materials by air, water, plants, or animals. The first type of weathering is physical weather. This is the mechanical breakdown of something without chemical changes. Some examples of, the, samples of this are abrasion, ice wedging, and exfoliation. To start, abrasion. Abrasion is the wearing down or smoothing of materials due to constant collision. A common example of this is in lakes where smaller rocks, pebbles, and things like that are suspended. They commonly collide into each other or scrape with the bottom, rounding out their edges. So next time you're by a, a source of water, pick up the rocks and you'll notice that they're much smoother than normal rocks. Now, we have ice wedging. This usually happens in places where the temperature um, differs very vastly. What first happens is there's a crack, say in a rock just for example, it's filled with water. Now when water freezes, as we all know it expands. This then makes the crack larger and now more water is able to fit. The crack then expands again and the process continues and eventually it breaks the rock. Now the next one is exfoliation. Exfoliation is the breakdown due to temperature, pressure, or vegetation changes. A really good example of this is if you've ever been walking, especially in the city, you'll notice that on sidewalks, commonly they're all cracked up and they have true roots growing through them. This is exfoliation and you can see it in the picture I posted below. Now, we're going to talk about it, the second type of weathering. This is chemical weathering. Chemical weathering is breaking down things by changing their chemical characteristics. A great example of this is the Statue of Liberty of chemical weathering. It once was bronze and now it is green. All right. Another good example of this is oxidation. When oxygen chemically, chemically unites with metals, it forms rust. This is chemical weathering and rust can break down substances. In fact, it does. This is all you need to know about oxidation, so thank you.